friends, today I want to make recycled art. I'm going to use a can, um, washed can, and I think there's two things we can do. One, we can paint our own designs on them, or we can use some of our swaps that we have received or stamp our own images on tissue paper and put them onto something like a can. Um, for an example, here's the picture of the Madonna here, and um, that would that is quite Mexican um, style of a painted can, you know, with that symbol or um, icon on there. You can do um, butterflies on. So we could do a lot of things. I'm going to look through these after I paint my cans and uh, decide on what. I want then. So my idea is that A, you could use pictures that are on magazines or anything like that, and B, you can paint your own designs. So I think we'll do a little bit of both. Um, this can will then can be used for uh, a couple of things. You can use it as a canister to hold your, your brushes and whatnot. Um, also, what I would love to do and what I'm planning to do is make a, a candle into it. So after I paint it and all that, I'm going to melt some candle wax, put it in here with um, a cotton candle wax covered um, um, string. What's uh, a wool? I don't know. It's cotton. And then you'll have your own candles. So you can make your own candles. And these will be very beautiful gifts. Also, you can use them as potting uh when you're gardening and that and you're planting something in here or you are got a whole bunch of your sharing it'd be a nice gift to have a little painted um, recycled beautiful pot like so I that's have other palettes but because I use this for paper mache and I had the glue on the bottom and once it's dry I might as well reuse that again um, because what I do is I put my piece of um, paper mache on there and I paint the glue mixture on there and yeah that's what I do it makes it easier to have a spot. So that's why I recycle these again. <laughs> well, I recycle them to uh, using them again as this, you know, um, to fill them up with paint. So I may as well have more than one use. So this one I'm going to paint is deep turquoise. And on a nice deep turquoise, I can imagine, I'm going to have to do a couple coats. Um, and actually right now I'm using, um, I have a different acrylics out. I have um, satin multi-surface paint. Um, and I do have the regular acrylics as well out, but I might not put those directly on the can because they might be better for um, paper and that kind of thing. So those ones will, I'll paint on them maybe. So with this color that I'm doing, I'm just doing like a blue, green, a turquoise, and some flowers or something on here. Can't see, sorry. Some flowers on here that would be really great that make it pop would be like some really red or oranges and even that kind of thing. Flowers, so you got to think of that when you color wheel that would pop. Even like pinks and stuff would pop. So you go if you want a nice contrast on your art, you go from across the color wheel to make whatever you want pop out that would be really nice unless you're like really want to blend it and that's a different kind of look that you want um but for something like this it's like i know that the term is taken pop art but um to me what it means is this art that just pops out right it just speaks to you so i don't know the term they use it for it's probably something else but it just pops in your eyes and you see it and you're just like, wow, I like that. So you could have this, like I said, as a planter, um, as a patio planter, a ca candle. And you can even have it indoors as a holder for anything. Kitchen um, utensils to your art supplies. So uh, think big think of all the things that can be used for you can make this before you even have a plan because you can still wax melt the wax down and I don't think we could do a video on that it's easy and you can make your own candles 
for outdoors or you know indoors gifts that sort of thing I think that having this as gifts too is really unique especially if you paint something um, a design on your own you could like I said use the tissue paper idea as well and I got some glue on here and I didn't get it off but I'm gonna paint over it <laughs> this one will be mine definitely not giving away with glue on it so I think it would be really nice so I'm gonna finish this layer up gotta get dry here and work on the second layer metal is a little bit different you gotta go a couple times but it works and this um, multi-purpose multi-surface stuff really works so this great. is this one here now with the double coats on it and that, look how great it looks so what I recommend is to do the um, two coats for sure and like I said, I did use the um, multi-surface, and the reason is it's got lost surface. It's really good, and you can also um, place this in the preheated oven to kind of bake it on the items. So if you look at the instructions on the back, um, you let cure for seven days for like the best for being dishwasher safe and that kind of thing. Um, and also you can place it in the preheated oven for 30 minutes at 325. Um, and then you let it cool the oven door open. So I'm not sure about on the metal, but it sure would work on, on um, glass and that kind of thing. So because this is such a uh, universal type of paint that goes onto a lot of things, that's why I decided to use this first on the metal. If you use other acrylics over top, I think that will work. So you use the regular acrylic over top to paint the designs. I think that will work. I think it'll um, you'll have this as the base, so it'll be sticking to the metal, which will be nice. Also, another thing I want to mention is when you're thinking contrast, also not only on the design, but as well as the contrast on the next cans you're going to have near it. So um, it would be really nice to have a pop of orange because teal and orange you know red that kind of things they'll be popping on your deck right if you're using this as a candle holder or even as a flower pot so you gotta think of those things of what nice designs so i would probably make like a set of three because threes are always really nice to see things you know together like this actually i'm gonna probably use uh oh, i'll use it anyway i didn't get all the glue off i wasn't even thinking about the glue <laughs> But whatever, we'll use it anyway. Um, so, we'll, you know, you gotta pick the colors that will just go really nice and complement each other and really pop next to each other. So, I'm gonna do two layers of this orange, and the orange I am using is the pumpkin patch in the same. Um, uh, multi-surface satin the Americana and it's just a beautiful and if you made lanterns with these you can as well so I'm going to do a couple of videos of a couple things to do with the cans one's going to be a lantern um, and another one will be a uh, I actually got two different types of lanterns so I might have to be two videos in that one um, two total separate designs and uh, candles list which is pretty easy but I may as well throw the I have the idea out there I may as well throw the video out even though lots of people do have a video so it's just to go with the can design type of thing that I'm doing so but uh, um, who is it um, clutch crafts uh, hmm I think she, I have to look at her links. She does lots of candles and coasters, and on Friday she does coasters every Friday. And um, she does make amazing candles. Um, some of them are fruit pies and that kind of thing. Um, and for some reason the name is because I'm not watching it right at the moment. I haven't watched it in probably a couple weeks because I've been so busy that I lost the name in my head. But I do watch her quite often, and she does have amazing candle ideas too. So um, that'd be really neat to do something even 
more unique. She's got like the bubbly looking candles and things like that she knows how to make. So meaning like foamy and that kind of thing. So make them look like ice cream, whatnot, um, just neat things. That's the first layer of the orange one. And I think I'll be back after I get the next colors gone. So I have the three cans here. I have this greenish yellow. Um, what color was that? It's this one right here. The uh, cherry tooths, I guess. Or anyway, um, the orange, which was pumpkin patch, and the teal, which was deep turquoise. And now I'm going to paint some things on them. I think because, um, like I said, we can do um, items and stick them on. But I think I want to. This would be great gift ideas, but I think because I only have one of those. Um, just looking at other papers that I have. No, I do have several of these. But I'm thinking of just hand painting them for today. And we could do some other projects in the future. I could do a few videos of different techniques of things of de decorating the cans. If that's what you guys want, you should let me know in the comments. And I can do that for sure. Because I don't, I want to be there for you guys. I want to do what you guys need me to do. So. I'm just going to move my paintbrushes a little closer. They're in my Superman cup. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of using the, the color wheel to guide me for what I'm doing. Um, I could do flowers. I could do things. I'm just going to kind of wing it, <laughs> as the duck says. And I'm going to go with um, that, that, really just winging it. So I'm grabbing my colors again. So I'm keeping in the three colors that I have, and I might add more. But so I have the turquoise, the uh, the green, and the orange, and I'm going to keep that in there for sure. And and I can go into other colors if I feel like I'm lacking. But you can also add a little bit of white to change them up a bit, or a little black to change them up a bit. So I think it'll be good. I'm going to move my colors over so that I'm not creating shadows, and I'm just going to kind of go with the flow of it. So for this guy, wet my, get my brush wet a bit here, grab some orange, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play with it. So, oh, you guys can't see. I'm playing with it. I don't know if you can see it yet. I am making something. You'll have to see. So, my plan is to kind of hmm. So it's a little harder than I thought just to paint on it first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to design it. I had to redo that. That I I want to paint um, a creature, but because the coordinate. I need to actually kind of draw it out, perhaps, first, and then have it um, painted over. So I'm doing a whimsical kind of invented bird type of thing. And... Um, but when I was painting it, it's kind of complicated with the corrugated, but now that I have a little bit of a guide, I think that would be good. So, there's my bird happening there, and I'm going to have some tail feathers. Some wispy tail feathers happening there. Maybe some stripy legs. You guys can't see that. I'm terrible today. Maybe some stripy legs anyway. This is just a uh, whimsical type thing. So what I was trying to do before was paint the feathers. and then, But I'm now I'm just going to draw them and then follow my, my drawing. So this is kind of the wing feathers. 
and I'm not sure what kind of top she'll have or he but there we go so that's my first design now I'm going to grab a few brushes and I am going to need my black acrylic and I'm just going to go in with my brushes and do the details. I think I was going in with the big brush and trying to do my flower first. Didn't work out quite the way I wanted. But I just wiped it off, re-dried it, that kind of thing. Did I grab my brush? And now I knew it does want to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my yellow as well and get to town on this. And start painting. These colors are going to be really nice together. I was trying to do my press um, flowers with my larger leaf, uh, with my larger leaf, with my larger um, brush, but it didn't quite work. It's a little harder to paint on the corrugated than I thought, so just got to be a little bit more careful. But we're going to have fun with it. Now I'm going to paint. <laughs> This is the bird I made here, and I'm just touching up with a few little pink spots because I just decided I wanted to add a little pink. And 
and I just really wanted it to be colorful and it turned out great. The beak, a little bit not so perfect, but hey, it's good, it's all good. It's all learning process. I found it a little harder to paint on the corrugated metal <laughs> than I thought, but I like it anyhow. So, yeah. So I'm just kind of tweaking it up a bit here and there that I think I like. And that kind of a process could take a long time. So I did the video in like, um, so then you guys can kind of go through it a little quicker. Um, speeding through it. But you guys got the gist of it, I think, for painting. So I didn't want to bore you through the whole thing very slowly. So, and I wanted you to see what I was doing and just having fun with it. So now we can make some... Um, flowers and all that kind of stuff on here as well and uh, just do the same thing where you draw the pattern I mean I find it with the you with any marker you guys can use um, trying to find the marker that like a sharpie let's see if this will work this pen this is a pen sharpie but I'm not sure if, even if I have enough ink on here and you can use um, anything like that to do your drawing. So just take your time. It is not the easiest thing to draw on the corrugated. So drawing directly on it, painting directly on it, I found it a little bit challenging. So it was just step by step, very slowly doing it and having fun with it. And you can just enjoy the process here. So I'm just drawing another flower. And it's a guide, even though it's going to be here, it doesn't have to be. Uh, you can go right paint right over the Sharpie. It is quite difficult to uh, draw on this. So just take your time to do it. Quite different to corrugated, I find. Now I'm going to do another little whimsical type of flower here in front of the bird. Just like that. And move on to around the can a bit so then it's designed all the way around. So I'm going to start painting this.
board of flower and yeah you can just do whatever design I don't know if I'm gonna make the same design with all of them I might and then now I'm gonna do another plant life thing here and uh, let's see so it's just playing with it and having fun I'm using my Posca pen I find it's a little easier to work with so I'm just gonna go on this one here I'm just gonna go ahead and make a tall leaf type of thing I don't know. I was thinking of making a tree. I don't think I wanted to do that one though. Try it again. It will wipe off. Let's see here. Or maybe it won't. Paint over it. Try again. Not a big deal. See, um, I just decided that it's, it's going too small on that side, and it's kind of I gotta center it better. And maybe I'll do a different tree. Don't know. So, not the end of the world. Paint it up again. Cover that up. Dry it off. And go. Basically, guys, this is it. This is one can painted. Um, doodle. It needs more doodling and that kind of stuff. And and you can do this kind of thing. And like I said, you can also. I was thinking about um, uh, gluing some uh, tissue paper to cans and that kind of thing. You guys can do that. And whatever you can doodle in your can. So now I'm just kind of doodling. And 
really going with the flow of it and having fun. So that's, you know, make it whatever, make it your own, um, because that's what's going to be really enjoyable later, especially if you give it as a gift. People are going to be looking at your, your stuff and I smeared it so I'm going to improvise with that smear. You know, anyway, you can use your Posca pens, whatever. I am going to continue doodling, and then um, eventually get these cans done. But I'm not going to do it all in video for you, I'm gonna, just doing the one. You guys get the gist of what we're doing today altering our cans, and I think that I'm going to try to get it for next week to do some candles in them. So I really would like to do that because I think um, that would display them really nicely. Have a nice candle, uh, homemade candle with recycled can and have it on your patio. I think that'd be cute. You could also give it as a gift. So that is that. Um, making these little plants here look like something, like cactus or something. Paint them up after or whatever. <laughs> Just doodling on them. And just keep playing with it. Right now, what I'm using is Deco Art glass paint markers because I ran out of the Posca pen and the white, and it works good. So I'm playing with that. It'll work good. And I might even use the green one I have for my little cactuses at the bottom there. So that's handy to have. And then my green one here. It's kind of close to the color, but that's OK. Still see through it, so that's nice. And I think that kind of tops it off here, too. So Having a little green in the bottom, grass or you know, little rocks or cactus or something, just to make it flow nice, doesn't be too crazy. And I might just do um, blast of heat. There's a bit of a resist and it kind of looks cool. You can see that. I like that. Hopefully that will might drip. is that. 
that. Friends, this is it. So I just did um, a lot of videos and then I'm like repeating myself so I kind of just did over. I mean I just did the last one without a video but that's basically it. I decided to do them all kind of the same with a little bit of different colors. A doodle, messy paint, and instead of doing the tissue papers this time and maybe next time we'll do the tissue papers and because that's going to be a great idea and you can just doodle all over them and kind of do that. That one was a big bird and I kind of, I mean, they all didn't turn out perfect, but they're still fun and dually. And um, I could add more colors to pop it like I did with this one. I did lots on the video for that. And so I basically got three of the, a set, three cute little um, cans for my deck. And then we can put some wax, candle wax in them and make some candles. So there they are. Hope you guys like that. Don't forget to craft like a duck. And we'll come back to making, um, within the next couple weeks, we'll come back to doing the um, video on how to make the candle out of them. Which is a simple, poor video, but I thought it'd be fun anyways just to add it. So then you guys have it to look at. Okay, guys. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Sorry, a quick review of, I'm putting some triple thick on here to seal it all in. So I just wanted to do that. 
Uh, I'm not going to bake it or anything because I don't know about the metal, but I'm just going to put some triple thick. It's going to look really like glassy, and I like that. This one's very got a high sheen. And if you can see that, looks really nice. So I'm going to continue with that with these three. And like I said, these would be great little potters. Um, you can you can place a candle inside or we can do a pour like we're going to do next week. I think it's going to be next week in there. And yeah, I think it's going to look really nice with this glaze. So I thought, well, I'm going to glaze it with the triple. And this is Deco Arts, triple thick. So it's a big difference. I think it's going to look really sharp. Okay, guys, bye again.